Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gorax and welcome back in the mythical land of Age of Wonder 3. We did it! We kicked Gamblax's ass in his uh, outpost, I would say, because his real city is over here and we actually killed him in the last fight and I took the courtesy of advancing to the next city. So nothing much uh, really happened. I took uh, this shrine over to, go to gain more... Uh, yeah, to gain more uh, research points. I haven't taken this outpost yet, but it belongs to me already, I think, because it is within our borders. So, yeah, I just want to... Um, I just want to check if I can reach him, no. So, I advanced with my units just around the city, and because I couldn't move my uh, siege engines Towards the fight, I retreated a little bit and I hope that he is not attacking our units while we are trying to take position. So let's end the turn and see what's going on. Whoa! What did he just do? He merged and threw some units away? That army of six just turned out to be nothing. Is this, a, is this an ability of him? Heavy shoot, walking orc, night vision, devour. Deals against... No, leader. Mind control, mounted, cavalry charge, paid absolution. The target city owner by casted guarantees additional 10 plus no. High morale, no. I have no clue what he just did. But it gives us an opportunity because we, we have a whole army marching against him. So you stay here, you come here, you take position right in front of him, and we're gonna attack his cannon somewhere around here. So, yeah, why not? Why the hell not, you know? What, is those, what are those guys here? So they produce shooting grounds, we produced a griffin shrine. We could make a griffin rider just for the sake of it, but it doesn't really... It's not gonna help us. A human knight. I just want to see how the unit looks like. And oh, we this actually has grown. Even though I didn't buy, I didn't build anything. Let's build some housing and a stone house. Right. Let's get started and yeah, let's get started. Let's get a fight going on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, everyone is here. Everyone attacks. Get black. Let's kick his ass. Big time. Right, let's speed it up. Because you have seen too many fights already. You know how it is working. So what he's gonna do? All his units are going to come outside. Not to bother, not to bother. We are going to move our siege units. And start tearing down the walls. Because I am pretty sure he's gonna place the cannon somewhere up here. In order to damage our army. I don't want this to happen, so I'm gonna make some damage on the walls. Throw it, so we can actually move some units up. Like the battering ram. I want I want the battering rams to go up and take out this uh, cannon up here. So let's move it up. Get you over here, you're probably not going to be in range. No, you're not. Right, let's cast a spell. Um, let's just see if he has some protection going on. Um, he has no protection whatsoever, but he is a heavy shoe. His crossbow has a lot of damage, so let's let's take care of him with some poison blades. Well, it didn't do much damage there. Okay, so these units are going to come up close as well. Let's get... Ooh, we need to use longbow man. And we need these units up here as well. We're gonna slingshot them from over here. You guys are coming all the way up. So where can you actually reach? You can reach them. Can you reach them? No. So we... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retreat with them a bit, just to see what kind of turn he's going to make. I mean, there's not much room he can use. He's probably advancing forward. 
Wow, these evangelists are pretty tough. And they can control, take control, uh, infest panic and protection. So I'm probably gonna take this dude behind the bush, <laughs> get him some cover. Yeah, I think this is about it. I'm gonna get them over here as well, Just get them some protection and ranged units. Right, and our turn and see what he does. That's what I expected. Ah. I see. So this cannon, I knew it has a huge range. What is this? Can't use ability for two turns, but when he shoots, he actually damages everything behind these units. So I need to move them a little bit. Shoot him here again. Rust strike, so get the roots out. And get some damage shoved up his ass. Alright, Gamp like is gone. How are we looking? So I'm gonna move. Gonna apply some damage to them. I mean, I want to get those uh, battering rams towards the wall anyway. So you can you can move up. Is this still some damage on the wall? Out of range. Well, let's keep the wall. What about you? You can't move at all. I'm gonna take you over here. Well, well. I should actually be able to shoot on it. So let's take our guys all the way over there because especially the ranged units let's get the fairies up radio our cavalry Those are ranged units, they can't reach any of them. Not to worry. Well, I'm not quite sure what he's gonna do now, but I believe... Can we cast something else? Nope. And our turn, C. Alright, so... We still cannot go up there, even though we've damaged the wall quite a bit. Now we can. Let's start dealing some damage. Let's charge them. So since we can move up the uh, wall, I'm just gonna use the trebuchets to make some good damage. Right, shoot it! Let's 
see if they can reach. Nope. No, they can. Which one do I want to hit though? Well, I only have the chance to hit them. So they are almost taken care of. Who else can reach? You come over here and you get them some pain in the head. All right. This battering ram is... Whoa. I wasn't expecting that, but hey. Move it. Boom. He can't use this ability for another two turns. You come up here as well. The target will not retaliate, I think. Huh? Nope. Very nice. Just keep it shooting. You're gonna face. Where is he? Where is he looking at? You're gonna face right here. And attack his butt. Boom! Very nice, Dan. So what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have. We still have to take care of this guy up here. So let's make sure. Can't use him. Um, panic attack, poison blades, or. Let's take the poison blades. Let's get him in closer range. Maybe we can do some proper damage there. I love trebuchets. Still not enough. Come over here. Hmm. He's gonna survive just about. Oh, of course, with one hit point. No, two hit points. Maybe they can take care of him. Yes, they can. This is it. We have won the fight. Well, it wasn't really a big challenge. But we're done. Yeah. Sundren. Finally. Strange to think that this sacred place has spawned so much bloodshed. Rescar is ready to perform his ritual to submerge the Radiant Egg into the pool. Now that damn Glaug is dealt with. They say gazing it in... Uh, gazing into it may offer a vision. I might take a peek before we have a, have to evacuate this veil. Perhaps I will say Tannis one last time. Cool. Yay, and we won. So we liberated the pool, we are victorious, completed quest, and the village of Liana declared war on us. Who the hell is this? But... We finished, so we continue with the campaign. There's nothing else to do here, really. I'm gonna finish off right here where we, um, well, finish the quest, basically. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a short episode. The last fight has been happening. And, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in the next episode. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty well excited to see where we're actually going. Uh, hopefully, this, the next map will have some... Uh, terrain um, much more interesting terrain than this so yeah thank you all for watching my name is Gorax see you next time there's no way back Thanis is dead oh my poor dear foolish brother I should have kept you safe from traitors I knew the greed of these lords but now is not the time to mourn I now know the heart of my enemy, this commonwealth. They will desecrate anything to fuel their appetite to expand. Ruled by mortal men with short lives, how can they value life when death is their destiny? Before departing, I took Reskar to the Pool of Origins. He has a draconian artifact called the Radiant Egg. He bathed the egg in the mystic waters and began speaking of prophecy and restoring the trust of dragons so his people can find a homeland. There was much I did not understand, but the egg now glows like the sun. As I was there, I gazed into the pool of origins. I've never been one to believe in visions or prophecies, but as the ripples cleared, I saw something. 